Hey guys, it's Marlon Herlock here of HallelujahLifestyle.com and I want to welcome you to another edition of Herbally Speaking. Uh, I want you to travel with me today. We are going to go on a journey uh, to feature a herb that um, is long overdue. I promise that the, this video, my, so my son and I, my assistant um, this video is long overdue we're gonna be looking at a herb that um, should have been videoed uh, for some time now I see a, a very beautiful uh, one of those herbs that is flowing well here I find some so um, today we are gonna be looking at another of Jamaica's favorite herb that has been used for decades in many folk medicines and for very good reasons too. So if you have any problems sleeping or issues with anxiety, menstrual cramps or bloating, today we are going to be sharing with you a herb that will not only help you in that area, but will help you in many other areas as well. Today we are going to be looking at the five major benefits of blue vervain. All right, so that's that's vervain, and we're gonna be looking at that herb today. Um, so this is it. Uh, vervain though goes by a number of other common names, including um, simple as joy, um, enchanter's plant, herb of the cross, um, Juno's tears, pigeon's grass. Um, in some country, it is called pigeon weed, um, herb of grace, uh, wild hyssop, iron weed. Um, wild verbena and Indian essop. All right, so there are, there are basically two types of vervain. Um, there's a blue vervain and there's a white vervain. I'm going to be doing another video on the white vervain. Um, the blue vervain, though, is identi the, uh, the identified as verbena officinalis. Now, whenever you hear about a herb having the uh, name officinalis, it means that it was an official herb, which means that its usage and its benefits are documented. All right, so verbena officinalis is a scientific name for ver vervain. Um, vervain, though, is believed to have spiritual and mystical properties linked to it. As a matter of fact, um, vervain is believed to be used on the Savior's wounds to stop the bleeding, hence, it is called herb of the cross. All right, so. Today we're going to be looking at the five, um, five major benefits of uh, vervain. Uh, we use vervain mainly in, uh, in a number of products, but we use vervain mainly in our womb cleanse. All right? But just so that you can know, it has many other benefits. Today we're just going to be looking at five major benefits. All right, so um, as I started out by saying that if you have issues with sleeping or issues with anxiety, vervain is one of those herbs that is definitely going to be of benefit um, to you. Why? Because vervain is a well-known tranquilizer agent and it is also an antidepressant. The power of vervain to ease feelings associated with anxiety and stress is well acknowledged and um, you know it is used uh, by a lot of persons for, for, that, for that purpose. Blue vervain triggers sensation of calmness and relaxation. Thus, this herb has been widely used to aid people suffering from depression and stress. Uh, and so it's, it's a very powerful, uh, very powerful herb. So this is the blue vervain. Let me just get a piece of it. And if you look on the, the plant itself, um, I've traveled across Jamaica and I've not seen um, vervain this rich as, uh, as, as the one that I'm seeing. Now, if you can look at the stem, you can literally see the blue in it. Um, you can see the, 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 how, how dark green the leaves are and how powerful. So uh, the first benefit of vervain is its use as a tranquilizer or as an antidepressant. Um, the second use of vervain is that it is very good for the gut, which is also one of the reasons why we use it in our womb cleanse. Very um, good for the gut. It is an effective remedy in dealing with issues of bloating and cramps and flatulence. Um, it's also very good for vomiting and diarrhea and it also is used to get rid of worms. If you look on the stem, um, we always talk about um, the characteristics of plant. If you look on the vervain, you'll see that the stem looks like a snake or it looks like a worm. 
that is because vervain is a vermiage it is also very powerful in expelling um uh, worms from the tummy we use it also in our uh in our parasite cleanse and you know in our in our in our intestinal intestinal and parasite cleanse so it's one of the ingredients used um in that so second use is that it's very good for the gut very good in getting rid of um, gas and flatulence very good for vomiting very good for diarrhea and um, it's also very good in getting rid of parasites such as worms um, another, the third use of vervain is that the stem, this part of it, where I put that part, this part of the vervain, um, when dried, um, is very good for the gum. So it, it, it makes a very good, uh, uh, it gets rid of pyre or what we call um, uh, uh, bleeding gums, um, gingivitis. So for persons who have gingivitis, for persons who have loosened teeth, um, vervain is very good in um, uh, getting rid of bleeding. Um, the root of the vervain, let me see if I can get one of the plants out. So the root of the vervain, we use the root to make a, uh, you can dry the root and you can soak it in alcohol and it makes a very good uh, tincture all right so you can drop it under the tongue and it makes a very good tincture for persons who have problems sleeping all right so that's the third use of vervain the fourth use of vervain is its analgesic and anti-inflammatory properties um, that is also one of the reasons why we use it in our uh, womb cleanse um, it's it it it, 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 it possesses very powerful analgesic and anti-inflammatory properties this makes it an efficient cure for inflammatory property, uh, 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 for cold and fever, for easing body pain and lowering t temperature levels during episodes of fever. It is also known to provide immense relief from migraine and sinusitis. Uh, it's a natural stimulant and rejuvenating agent. So it's a tonic. It also can be used in a number of tonics if you're putting tonics together. The herb is also used to overcome the weak, uh, any weakness associated with overcoming fever. So um, the anti-inflammatory properties makes it a very powerful herb. And then there's a fifth property, it's anti-spasmodic. So it's very good for persons who may have flea or cold. Also for the womb, um, it's very powerful in getting rid of um, anything um, that is of, of a toxic nature in the womb. So we use it again in our womb cleanse. As I said, it's one of the major uh, product uh, in our womb cleanse, one major ingredient in our womb cleanse because of its anti-spasmodic properties. Um, so it is also highly recommended by traditional physicians as a medication for muscle cramps, pains, and spasms. Uh, it can be used as a poultice um, to, as, to, to ease pain associated with medical conditions such as ear, neurology, and rheumatism. So you can, make, you can beat... Uh, the herb you can beat the herb just get it put it into a, 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 a mortar beat it once you beat it out then you can take the juice so you can get the beaten uh, and use it as a poultice if you're having pain on your hand on your knee on your back anywhere you're having pain you can just apply it as a poultice and it will work wonders in terms of getting rid of those pains so it's a very very powerful herb um we here at hallelujah lifestyle we have the herb um in a finely grounded dosage form again all the herbs that we feature in our videos we have them in a dry form in a dosage uh form meaning that we have grounded them they are all wild crafted herbs um there there's so many of them um this is another herb that is all we're going to be doing a video on this herb as well for persons who have asthma there's just so many herbs here in the wild that um, we, we, we feature so all of these herbs are wild crafted meaning that they're grown in the wild they're not grown with any fertilizer any chemical so they are all natural 100% natural and 100% organic so we have vervain in a finely grounded dosage form yeah yeah we also have it as a tincture and we have it uh, as a formulation with other herbs for targeted health needs all right guys so that's our look on uh, the blue vervain herb uh, before we, we, we go i want to show you this um, sample of the plant that i found 
that um, was that is much more mature than the ones that I was featuring before. Just look at those beautiful uh, purple flowers. Just look at those beautiful purple flowers. Um, also want to remind you that you should not take vervain or any other herb without talking to your healthcare provider first. And I also wanted to note that you should not take vervain if you are breastfeeding or if you are pregnant. And also that uh, vervain is well known to react with blood pressure medication of a person who are on, uh, who are on hormonal therapy. Uh, please be uh, uh, note also that high doses of vervain will result in uh, diarrhea and vomiting. All right. So that's our look on on the blue vervain. Want to thank you for watching. Want to thank you for staying tuned, guys. Please help us to reach that three thousand or more subscription for 2019. So if you like this video, please like it, share it, or comment. We want to hear from you. If you have any questions. Um, if you know of any uses, other uses of vervain in your country, uh, please let us know about it. Uh, again, thank you for watching. This is Marlon Hurlock saying that your health is your responsibility and the greatest weapon against sickness and disease is education, not medication.